Hallo, I'm Dr. Mutschler in Biomedical Center Speyer. In this video I would like to explain some things on SOT. So the SOT, which is the abbreviation for Supportive Oligonucleate Technique or Therapy. Supportive Oligonucleate Therapy. So we have two videos now in a row. The first is to explain what is it. The second is what is to do, what are the right steps to do. So first, SOT is a technology which has been researched since the 90s and 1996 the first publication came up on this technology. So it's not new, but now we have it available in the routines since several years. And I'm quite happy to have this method because it's a really individual and highly specific therapy. It's modern, it's highly specific, it's individualized to treat infection diseases but also cancer. Well, it's a molecular genetic therapy and it's so made a individualized product for the patient out of its blood. So, patient's blood is taken and the bugs, the DNA is taken out of the blood and it will be used to make a preparation in a special, specialized lab. This preparation then can be administered IV intravenously for the patient. Well, each and every bug, so let's say virus or bacteria, they have a different genetic fingerprint. So the ones, they have RNAs, the other, other hand bacteria, they have DNAs. So different bacteria, different viruses, doing the, inf the inflammation, the infection disease of the patient. So SOT is unique for each several bug, for each several virus or germ, you name it. So you have one DNA from one bacteria and the SOT matches really clearly on this one DNA. So this is an individualized therapy. This method, this preparation is then for this bacteria and will not fit to another bacteria because, well, you have different patterns on the genetic material. Or if you say, if you have the key, it fits just in one door, not in another. So, in all the most, in the almost um, treatments, we can have really good relief. And yes, the individualized preparation will neutralize the germs, or let's say the DNA structure of the patient in the patients. So, we have an individualized therapy. Silencing genes, that's the way to do it, so that's the way how silent gene does it. Thank you.